In this video, let's understand how to send custom events from a child component back to the parent component when working with the composition API. For our example, let's send an event to the person component from person greeting component and alert a message. Let's start our code in the child component, which is person greeting dot view. In the template, I'm going to add a button on click of which we will send an event to the parent. So button, the text is going to be call heroes. And on click of the button, let's add a handler called send event. In the setup method, let's define the handler. Function send event. Now the question is, how do we emit a custom event in the setup method? With the options API, we would use this dot dollar emit. However, we don't have this keyword referring to the component instance in the setup method. To cater to this scenario, view provides a second argument on the setup method called context. So after props, context. Of course, you can call it anything you want to, but the view convention is to call it context. This is an object which exposes the emit method. So within send event, we can call context.emit. The first argument is the custom event name and the second argument is any value that we would like to send back to the parent. Let's name our event as call heroes and the value, let's pass the full name computed property. So full name dot value. Let's also return this send event function so as to use it in the template. Now back in parent component, let's listen to the call heroes event and add a handler. We listen to the custom call heroes event and assign a handler called call heroes. Within the setup method, let's define this handler. Function call heroes. This event receives the full name from the child component. Let's call that full name as hero in this function. Within the function body, a simple alert that says calling hero. Make sure to return this function from the setup method. If you now go back to the browser, fill in Bruce Wayne and click on the button, we should see the alert calling Bruce Wayne. We have successfully sent a custom event from the child component to the parent component. Now one last thing I would like to highlight here is that the context object in fact exposes three properties. So if I log the context value to the console and back to the browser, we do in fact see a warning. So let me quickly fix that. In person greetings dot view, apart from props, this component also now emits an event called call heroes and head back to the browser again, refresh and we don't see the warning anymore. But coming back to the context object, if I expand it, you can see that we have emit, slots, and attributes. We have previously learned about all of them, so I will leave it for you guys to experiment with. But definitely something I wanted to bring to your attention. With that, we have come to the end of understanding how to replace all aspects of the options API with the composition API. Although we have learned them all separately, hopefully you can now see that all the logic for a particular feature will go inside this single setup method. If you have multiple features, they can still be grouped together within this same setup method. You don't have to jump back and forth between the different data options, methods, computed properties, watchers, and even the lifecycle hooks. Now let me tell you, the Composition API 
not only helps with grouping related functionalities together, but also reusing functionalities across components. So the Composition API also serves as a replacement of mixins, which we had for the Options API. Let's learn how that works in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.